Hi, I'm Chrissy, and uh, I'm a yoga teacher here in Chicago. And this class is called Root and Ground, inspired by the Muladhara Chakra. Um, the Muladhara Chakra is the first of the seven main chakras or energy centers that exist in the center of the body. Um, and its location is on the base of the spine and the pelvic floor area. Um, the energy of this chakra is, represents our ability to feel safe and stable and grounded, connected to our bodies, connected to our, to our earth, the ground, our environment. Um, and when this chakra is out of balance, sometimes it shows off as feeling sort of anxiety and restlessness, can't stay still, or on the other end, uh, really sluggish and, and just kind of unmotivated, hard to get up and get going. Um, so this chakra is going to really focus on our legs, a uh, little bit of lower back release and pelvic floor energy too. Um, we'll finish with a nice meditation um, to round it all up. And hopefully after you're done with this class, you feel a little more grounded, but also you know, have enough energy to get moving. So we're going to begin this class in child's pose. So take your knees about as wide as your hips or maybe a little wider. Bring your feet together. Shift the hips back towards the heels. And then take your arms in front of you. Lower your forehead to the mat. And if you can't quite get the forehead to the floor, then you can place a block or a towel or something underneath it. And spread your fingers. Press the palms of your hands into the floor. And I want you to feel a lift underneath your forearms. So as you press your hands down, lift your forearms away from the floor. And really feel the pads of your fingers pressing down. And anytime we think about our root chakra, you want to focus on what's connecting to the ground. So sometimes it'll be our hands and our feet. Sometimes it'll be just our feet. Sometimes it'll be our seat. And you want to feel energy moving down, but also pulling energy back up. You start to slow down your breath. And as you lengthen your inhales and your exhales, Walk your hands a little bit further forward so you start to feel a little more lengthening through your side body. Okay. And then take a moment just to notice how things are feeling for you today. And always make sure you're taking care of yourself when you practice any kind of physical practice. Okay. And take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And you're going to come onto your hands and your knees from here. And then once you're on your hands and your knees, I want you to place your knees underneath your hips. And keep spreading your fingers. Take your wrist about shoulder distance. Spreading the fingers wide. Tuck your toes under. Move into downward facing dog. And then once you're in your down dog, I'm going to say start with the feet bent. Maybe you can take the feet a little wider than hips distance. And then, and then just get your hips to lift Press your hands down and forward. Feel that same lift underneath your forearms as you did when you were in child's pose. And if it feels okay for you, start to press your right leg straight and send the right heel as close to the mat as you can get it. And then switch sides. So bending your right knee, press your left heel down. See how close you can get the heel down. It doesn't matter if it touches, as long as it's kind of reaching in that direction. Now bending both knees again, lift the tops of your thighs up, getting your hips to lift a little higher, and then press the tops of your thighs back. And keeping that, draw your lower belly in a bit, and then begin to press your legs a little straighter. And you want to make sure that you're not pressing your knee joints back so much. It's almost like you're trying to bend your knees, but you're not. You're working the tops of your thighs back. Allow your eyes to focus somewhere steady, and if at any point you need to come off your hands, if it's too much on the wrists, just bring your knees to the floor and rest in child's pose. Now take a deep inhale. And then looking towards your hands, start to walk your feet all the way to the front of your mat. Just take it slow, good, step by step. Start with your feet about hips distance. Put a little bend to your knees and just fold over your legs. Now you can grab a hold of your elbows if you'd like. And then with your elbows clasped, just lean forward and back a little bit on the feet. If you prefer to keep your hands on the ground, you can. That's it. And then lean from right to left a few times. Just kind of feeling the soles of the feet. Notice how you place weight on your feet. So a lot of us tend to put more weight towards the outer edges of the feet. 
If that's the case for you, press the inner feet down more good. or vice versa. And then try to lean forward a little bit in these forward folds. And then release your hands to the mat. Let's all bend the knees a little deeper. And then one vertebrae at a time will begin to rise up. And I'm going to say take it slow. Okay, so one vertebrae at a time. And then once you're upright and your shoulders are over the hips, then your head will come up last. Okay, let your arms relax. Keep pressing the feet into the floor. Lift up through the crown of the head as you relax the shoulders away from the ears. We'll begin with some very slow lunging sun salutations. On your next inhale, reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Take the entire inhale to lift. And then with an exhale, bend your knees slightly, fold forward with a nice flat back, bring your hands to the floor. Now from here, find a flat back so you can place your hands on your shin bones, reach your chest forward, inhale, and then you're gonna lower your hands to the mat Step your right foot all the way to the back of your mat. So now you're in this long, deep lunge. Take a few breaths here. So bend into your left knee. Try to press the top of your back thigh up. Reach your chest forward. Take a big inhale. And then with your hands flat, step to plank pose or top of a push-up. And then a little more energy in your legs. Press the tops of your thighs up. If you need to, you can place your knees on the floor. Lift your chin. And then take an inhale. And we're going to lower to the belly through chaturanga. So exhale, slide forward, bend your elbows, and then slowly lower to the mat. And then pointing your toes back, inhale, lift up to cobra pose. Just a little lift to start. And then exhale, lower down, tucking your toes. You're going to make your way into downward facing dog. When you come back to down dog, take a moment just to breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Now keep your left foot on the floor. Inhale, lift your right leg straight up towards the ceiling. And then from there, you're going to step your right foot in between your hands. And then this first round here, we'll hold this lunge for a little bit. So bending the right knee until it's above the ankle. Move your right thigh bone back into your hip. Lift your chin up. Give your back leg a little more lift. Take one more inhale here. And then you'll step your back foot to the front of your mat, coming back to a forward fold, exhale. Now inhale, lift halfway up again. Hands to shin bones or fingertips can stay on the ground. Exhale and fold a little bit deeper. Pressing your feet down, rise up to stand. And then reach the arms towards the ceiling as you inhale. You can look up and then stay standing. Let the arms relax by your sides. We'll do that again, leading with the left leg. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale and fold forward. Inhale and look forward, lift halfway up. Lower your hands and step your left foot to the back of your mat. Now pause here just for an inhale. And then as you exhale, step to plank pose again, right foot next to left foot. Pause in your plank. You can place your knees down if you need to. Now sliding forward. Again, lower all the way to the floor through chaturanga. Now pointing your toes back. Inhale to cobra pose again. Maybe a little higher. Exhale, lower. Tuck the toes. Come into downward facing dog. Now take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Now inhale, lift your left leg up and lift the leg slow. Take the entire inhale to lift it. And then from there, looking forward, step your left foot in between your hands. Now pause here just for an inhale. And then step your back foot to meet your front foot as you exhale, forward fold. Now inhale, lift halfway up again. Find a flat back. Now fold forward. And then some of us slide the feet a little closer together. We're going to come into chair pose. So bend your knees deeply for Utkatasana chair. And take a few breaths in chair. So once you're in your chair, you can keep your knees and toes pointing forward and scoop the lower belly up. And without shrugging your shoulders too much, see if you can lift your arms a little bit higher. And if you're used to looking at the floor all the time, start to look forward, pressing the feet down, maybe start to look up. And the next time you inhale, straighten your legs, 
reach the arms up towards the ceiling, and then let your arms relax by your sides. You can shake out your arms a little bit, you can shake out your legs a little bit, then you're gonna step your feet wide, so you're facing the wide edge of your mat. We're gonna do a few standing poses. So we'll start with warrior two. Point your right knee and toes to the right. Angle your left toes a little bit to the right. Begin to bend your right knee. Before reaching your arms out to the side, kind of place your right hand on the top of your right thigh and really feel that thigh rooting down, but at the same time, lift your right waist a bit. Now press the back foot down, the left foot, lifting your left inner thigh. So again, you want to feel solid and stable, but not too heavy. And then from there, you can reach the arms out. Just take a few breaths here. Every time you inhale, feel this expansion through the arms, the crown of the head, the feet. And then as you exhale, draw your belly in and even turn it slightly to the left. And then try that one more time. Inhale deeply and exhale. Now just for a breath, you're going to straighten your right leg and you'll reach the arms up. Go ahead, big breath in. We're going to go into side angle pose. So you'll bend your right knee and then placing your right forearm on your right thigh. Take your top arm up and then reach the top arm overhead. Now there's a little more weight in that right foot, so try to anchor your back foot down more. <laughs> and then as you lean your upper body back, turn the bottom ribs towards the top ribs, and then keep drawing your lower belly in. Option to take your eyes up towards the ceiling, and then keep expanding through the left side of your body. Take one more deep inhale. And then from there, you'll exhale, come back to warrior two just for a moment, stay strong in the legs. And then straighten your right leg, let the arms relax, parallel your feet, and then you'll switch sides. So we'll turn the left knee and toes to the left. And then from there, you'll turn the right toes in a little bit, begin to bend your left knee for warrior two. And then when you come into warrior two, again, start with your left hand on your left thigh, just press the thigh down. And as you press the thigh down, Try to keep that 90 degree bend in your left knee, but lift your left waist a bit. And then try to point your belly button towards the long end of the mat, but keep the left knee and toes pointing to the left. And then when you're ready, you can reach the arms out. Reach out like you're trying to reach both sides of your room. Let the shoulders relax. Lift up through the crown of the head. Take a few more steady breaths here. There's an urge to straighten that left leg. It's okay if you do, but try to resist that urge just a little bit longer. Now turn the palms of the, left, of the hands up towards the ceiling. On your inhale, straighten your left leg as you reach the arms up. And then you'll re-bend the left knee going right into side angle pose. So again, forearm to the thigh, and then take the right arm up and reach it overhead. And then again, root down through your back foot a little more just to balance the weight. Draw your lower belly in, lean your upper body back, and then turn the left ribs to the right ribs. And you want to feel the left outer hip kind of moving in towards the midline of your body. If it feels okay, you can start to take your eyes up towards the top arm. A little shaking is okay in the legs, a little heat, that's good. Take one more inhale. Now as you exhale, come all the way back into warrior two. And then from there, you'll straighten your left leg. You'll turn the left toes towards the side of your mat so your feet are parallel. And take the hands to the hips. Take a big inhale. And then from there, start to fold. And then once you fold, bring your hands to the floor. Just start with your arms straight. Take a big breath in. And then just fold a little deeper. You can start to walk your hands in between the feet, maybe reaching the crown of your head down towards the floor as close as you can get it. And then here, notice how you're placing the weight on your feet. So for a lot of us, we tend to put the weight towards the outer edges of the feet and the ankles puff out, squeeze the outer ankles in, and then try leaning a little bit forward so you feel a little deeper stretch in the hamstrings. Imagine like you're trying to squeeze something in between your thighs. Now walk your hands in front of you again. On your next inhale, straighten your arms. And keeping a flat back, just going to bring the hands to the hips and then slowly rise up to stand. And once you're standing, walk the feet together. You need to shake out the legs a bit. And we're going to work on a balance pose 
called tree pose, vrikshasana. So some of us might have issues with balancing. If that's true, if that's you, you can move to a wall and have the wall handy just in case you need to use it. You're going to keep your left foot on the floor, really root it down, and then turn the right knee and toes out to the right. Make sure your hip bones are pointing straight ahead. One way to do this is to slide your foot below your left knee. The other way to do it is to grab your ankle and place your left foot high up on the right inner thigh. And you want to press the foot into the leg and the leg into the foot. And then once you're there, keep your eyes focused somewhere steady and bring your hands together in front of the heart. And just breathe. And be okay with falling out of this pose. You fall out, you can come right back in. No harm, no foul. Lift up through the crown of the head. And then if it feels pretty good, you want to take the arms up towards the ceiling. Go ahead and reach the arms up towards the ceiling. You can even visualize your body like a tree. Your left leg is like the root. And there's roots growing down through the feet as well, into the floor. And then your arms are like branches. And really reaching them up. Oop, and there it goes. I fell. <laughs> and I laugh and you giggle. And then you come back into it. And there you go. And that's just yoga. Take one more big inhale. And then you'll bring your hands together in front of the heart. And just place the right foot on the floor next to the left foot. We'll switch sides. So right foot on the mat, turning the left knee and toes out to the left. Keep rooting down through your right foot as you slide your left foot either towards your left inner calf or lift your knee, grab a hold of your ankle, and suction cup your foot into the right leg. Press your right leg into the foot. Good. Keep your navel pointing forward. Keep your hip bones pointing forward. And then bring your hands together in front of the heart. Good. And again, find this sense of energy moving up as well as rooting down. And that's really the way that the chakras work. The energy moves up and then it moves down. Healthy chakras. Let your shoulders relax, lifting through the crown of the head. That's it. And then being a little bit playful, you can take the arms up towards the ceiling, almost like trees of branches or branches of trees. Relax the shoulders. Maybe start to look away from the floor if you want to play around with your balance. Take one more big breath in. And then from there, you'll bring your hands together in front of the heart. And you'll place your left foot on the floor. Now from here, you're going to take your feet a little wider than hips distance. And we're going to come into a squat shape. So come into a forward fold first with your knees bent. And then take your feet, turn them out about 45 degrees. And then begin to bend your knees deeply. So start to squat down. And then when you squat down, this might not be good for some of us. Some of us, this might really, really bother the knees. So you can come to about this kind of halfway point. You can also grab something to sit on. I'm going to use a block, and you can sit on a block. It's almost like sitting on a stoop. So either way, I find this to be one of the most grounding poses you can do. Great to do after a long flight. But if you can handle it without a block, without a block then go ahead and just sit on the feet. Press your knees out with your hands. Press your hands together. And then press your knees into the arms. Lift your chin. And then just take a few slow breaths. You want to try to create a little bit of a lift in the pelvic floor. And then try to draw your lower belly back as you exhale. That's it. Now take one more deep inhale. And then from here, you'll bring your hands to the floor and start to straighten your legs again. And then just turn the knees and toes forward. Bring your hands to your hips. And then we'll begin to stand up again. All right. And then from there, I'm going to come back towards the front of your mat. We'll do a couple more things before we begin to move into our meditation. On your next breath in, reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Big breath in. Exhale, lower your hands to the floor. Now inhale, lift halfway up, just like we did before. And then lower your hands. Step your right foot to the back of your mat. And this time you're going to place your right knee on the floor. Now once you've placed your right knee on the floor, make sure if you need to pad your back knee with a towel or a blanket. Start with your hands on your front thigh. Square your hips, and then slowly reach the arms up. Press the sole of your front foot down and the top of your back foot down, and isometrically try to pull them together. And then if it feels okay to lean back, lean back and look up. Take another breath in, 
And then you'll bring your hands to the floor, or some of us might need a little height. Inch your left foot forward a bit and begin to straighten your left leg for half splits. Just folding over the left leg, make sure that your left hip or your hips are directly above your right knee. And when you're pulling your left toes towards you, you want to keep a soft bend in the left knee so you don't need to jam the knee straight. Folding over the left leg, take another big inhale. And then from here, you'll re-bend your left knee, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee up, look forward, and then step your feet to the front of your mat again. Forward fold. On your next inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold, and we'll step the left foot to the back of the mat, coming into a lunge. Lower your left knee down. And make sure, again, your right knee's above the ankle. Pad your back knee if you need to. Place your hands on your front thigh and start to lift. Scoop your lower belly in. Try to square the hips off. And then when you're ready, if you'd like to today, take the arms up. And then press down to lift. Relax the shoulders. Try to relax the muscles of your face. And then those of us that feel okay with that, you want to reach the arms back a bit and look up. Go for it. Take another inhale. And then from there, lower your hands to the mat. Inch your right foot a little bit forward. And then shift your hips back, straightening the right leg. Good. And then notice if you're rounding your back a lot. You want to try to kind of tip the pelvis forward. And then plug your right thigh bone into the hip socket. A couple more steady breaths, some of us folding a little deeper. Take another inhale. And you'll re-bend the right knee again. This time, tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee up, and come into downward facing dog. And then when you come to down dog, take a big breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and let it go. <sighs> Do that one more time. Inhale. Out your mouth as you exhale. <sighs> and then you'll bring your knees to the floor. Inhale. And then take a child's pose again, shifting the hips towards the heels. Move your hips back and let your forehead relax. Get just a couple of breaths here. And then from here, we'll make our way onto our back. So I'm going to shift your hips to one side and lie down on the floor. I'm going to recommend having a block or a stack of books, something about this high or this high. And you'll lie down on your backs. And then once you're on your backs, I'm going to set up for one bridge pose. So pressing the feet into the floor, just kind of peek, make sure your feet are parallel, about hips distance. Bend your elbows like little robot arms. Press your elbows into the mat, slide the shoulder blades together. And then from there, you'll press your feet down and lift your hips. And then stay here with your elbows bent. Reach your arms by your sides or interlace your fingers behind you. And then press your upper arms down. Keep a little lift to the chin. And then try to press the inner and outer feet into the floor evenly. I'm trying to keep your legs parallel. And take a couple more breaths here, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Good, now last inhale. And then you'll release your hands and then lower yourself down. Okay. And then once you're down again, you're going to grab your block or whatever you can use here. And you're going to slide that underneath your sacrum for a supported bridge. It's one of my favorite restorative poses. And then once you're in the supported bridge, make sure that your lower back feels comfortable. So it's supported by your block or, or whatever you're using. And there's a couple of options here. You can hang out here and rest. You can also lift your feet off the floor and just try to bring your knees into your chest. And again, make sure you feel comfortable with this. Some of us want to take the legs up towards the ceiling for a supported shoulder stand. And if you are having your legs up towards the ceiling or reaching them up, feel as if your legs are really heavy and dropping down towards your hip sockets. And then a couple more breaths. And I say if you want to press pause and hang out here for a little longer, go for it. Otherwise, bend your knees, place your feet on the floor. And then lift your hips 
up, move your blocks out of the way, and then you'll lie back down, and we'll take a happy baby. So pull your knees into your chest first, give yourself a squeeze, and then separating your knees, a couple ways to do this, you can grab the backs of your thighs and kind of point the soles of the feet up. You can reach and grab your ankles. You can also grab your outer feet. And then if, try to press your lower back into the floor. A little rock from side to side is fine, or just stay still. That's it. And then from here, you'll bring your knees back into your chest. And then grab the backs of the thighs, begin to roll up. And then come into a comfortable seat. So I always recommend sitting on something. So if you have a little blanket or a bolster or something like that to sit on, I recommend it. And then make sure you're comfortable. So if you prefer lying down, this is fine too. And once you come into a cross-legged seat, just rest your hands on your knees. Sit up real tall. Let your shoulders relax. Close your eyes. Just notice how the body's feeling. Notice if you feel a little more connected to your body, connected to your environment, more grounded and steady. And then I want you to visualize your Muladhara chakra. Visualize a glowing red light, like a deep red light, right around the base of your spine. And as you continue to visualize that chakra, every time you inhale, I want you to imagine that chakra's light beginning, beginning to spread. And then as you exhale, it spreads even more. It spreads all the way out through the arms, the crown of the head, and the feet. And just continue to kind of bask in this warm red light coming from the base of your spine, from your root chakra, and spreading through your whole body. And as you visualize this light, I want you to silently repeat the mantra, LAM, L-A-M, LAM, LAM, LAM. Just silently repeat that mantra while visualizing that red glowing light. Take a deep breath in, and a nice long exhale out. Do that one more time. Inhale deeply, and exhale. And when you're ready, you can start to blink your eyes open, and then just gradually take in your space. And thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And please enjoy the rest of the chakra journey whenever you can. Namaste.